Hello, my name is Vladan Jevremovic. I'm a senior research director at IBWave, and I will be talking about metamaterials and their application in cellular wireless. Let's get started by talking about uh, what are metamaterials and uh, why do we care about metamaterials. So, metamaterials are created by adding artificially fabricated periodic microstructure into natural materials. Microstructures change how the material responds to electromagnetic wave or light. Um, there are two parameters that describe the interaction between electromagnetic wave and material. That is permittivity epsilon and permeability mu. And their values are affected by periodic microstructure. While natural materials cannot have both epsilon and mu less than zero, metamaterials can. And the net result is unnatural bending of electromagnetic wave or light. As we can see in this picture that was taken from the first quantum metamaterial raises more questions than it answers, written by Sebastian Anthony, um, metamaterial can affect how we view a straw in uh, the glass if the glass actually contains metamaterial. Let's get started by talking about potential metamaterials application in cellular wireless. Let's talk about passive metasurface first. And passive metasurfaces potentially can be used as a range extending reflectors. The reflected signal angle, if passive metasurfaces are used, is not the same as the incoming signal angle. And if you take a look at this example, uh, using passive reflective surface, the incident angle that comes in at 90 degrees uh, at the surface is uh, reflected uh, very sharp, with a very sharp angle from the surface, which is uh, not something that you will see in nature. So a particular application is uh, he shown here where meta surface is at this billboard and it directs the reflected signal from the neighboring base station onto the uh, pedestrian mall. It should be pointed out that the reflected signal is focused on the general area, not on any particular user. Let's now talk about active metasurface. Active metasurface is called Reconfigurable Intelligent Metasurface, or RIS. And a RIS receives a signal and re-radiates it focused on the receiver in real time. Um, as we can see in this picture that was taken um, from the article Three Myths and Two Critical Questions that, is, that was written by a group of authors and published at IEEE Communications Magazine in December 2020, a signal comes from the outside through the window to the wrist that is uh, just a surface that is on the wall, and the wrist then redirects the signal, incoming signal, via beam forming focused on the receiver. So how does a wrist do that? Wrist has amplifiers in it and amplifiers are capable of uh, pinging the user finding its location and then exciting the antennas that exist in the wrist because RIS is really um, the uh, two-dimensional antenna array um, and because it has amplifiers it's capable of beam forming in the direction of the user so in essence, this RIS has a similar beam forming functionality as a 5G uh, base station. And uh, this beam forming is actually now inside the building. And because of that, uh, it can pinpoint the user with more precision than a uh, macro beam forming. So that is a big advantage of uh, using a RIS inside the building. And we came to the end of uh, my presentation. If you want to learn more about metamaterials and risk surfaces, you can download the white paper that I wrote from www.ibwave.com slash resources slash white papers. Thanks and have a great day.